everybody. Well, I have <laughs> more catching up to do because I got behind again. <sighs> Guess I shouldn't be shocked, right? So, tomorrow's the last day and then I'll be doing a flip through. Wow. Hard to believe, right? So, <laughs> I did manage to at least journal because I'm so behind. So I journaled yesterday and Friday because Friday was where I left off. And I don't have a whole lot to put in here, so maybe I'll just do some journaling. Maybe some magazines or something because I'm not really sure what else I want to do in here. Let me just take a look at what I've got. See if there's anything cute to do. Uh, kind of looking at my little supply of things. I want to use her very much. Maybe some just some cute things to go together would be fun that I haven't used yet for my stash. Some little things to use up for this month. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see what else I've got. I'm just going to kind of pull a bunch of things I have laying around and um, see if I can use any of those in here. Just for fun. Fun, fun. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? All my little bits and pieces that I have. All right, so we have a few things I might just play around with and see what I want to just stick on the page to have some fun. Okay, so when I went to work, um, it was another beautiful day, of course, because spring is here. But when I went to work, I saw this turkey on the road, and not just one turkey, but a flock of wild turkeys because I work right along the creek side and there's green space so um, we get turkeys which is awesome anyway um, so I'll put that up there we uh, these turkeys were out in the middle of the road so we had to slow down and it's springtime so the males were out there showing off their tails so they had a couple of them had their tails fanned out and I had to slow down and I wish I had just pulled out my camera you know my phone and taken a picture but I went and parked and I walked back out because I figured I could take a picture I just walked back out and they were nowhere to be seen at all. Totally gone. <laughs> oh, well. That's how it goes, I guess. Anyway, it would have been cool to get a picture. I wish I had just taken one. Next time, just take a picture. Um, so, let's see. At work, it was Friday, which means I get to go home early. I get good to go home. We all close up at three and go home. But um, my boss told me I could go home at two if I wanted. So of course I just took her up on that and said, "Yeah, of course I'll go home at two. Like, <laughs> right? Who wouldn't?" So um, yeah, that was fun. I was glad to get to do that. Um. What else? What else? I love this and I want to just do it like this. And then because I love that, I'm going to put that on the beneath the other thing. But anyway, 
So I went home to two and I worked on my, um, the junk journal that I'm working on for my May and June, and I will show that at the end. I did do a three-part video series uh, showing me making it. So I think I taped Friday, Saturday, and this morning. So one every day. So you could you can get a nice little look at that. And um, I think it turned out cute. And I'm excited about um, getting to work in it for sure. It's kind of putting in some, whoops, oh my gosh, it dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. Ugh, Terry. <laughs> Seems to be my thing. Some stuff I want to add into my garden uh, paraphernalia. So, I'm trying to get it out of the way. Well, then I have all these little bunnies, which I have not used uh Got a whole bunch of cute bunnies, so I'm thinking I'm going to put a cute little bunny right there. Aren't they sweet? So sweet. Oh, and look at this little flower. Let's put that there so we can make this cute little um, scene. So cute. Here's another little flower. Let's put that one over here. I really like that. That's really sweet. Okay, so I think that's good, and that's good, and the only thing we're really missing is an owl. So, let me get an owl. Oh, this one will be perfect. I like this owl a lot. He seems to be the right color. Just put him right here. Kind of goes with that orange. I really like the sherbety feel of this on the scene. Okay, so that was that. Um, what did we do after work? We picked up my husband. I finished my coffee staining on Friday night. Did the last one. Uh, we picked. My husband picked up our granddaughter so she could stay the night, and he picked up pizza and a movie. And we watched uh, Ferdinand about the bull and uh, being raised for bullfighting. The and then um, that was really a cute, cute movie. So that was a nice, uh, nice day. And then here I have um, yesterday. Yesterday was a beautiful day outside. Gorgeous weather, sunshine, um, blue skies. It was just really, really nice. Love it when days are like that, you know? So I'll put this enjoy today because I totally did. Um, I got this from a lady named Kathy who we did a um, pocket letter exchange. So I've been using that and the one I did on the other page were both from her. Anyway, um, What was I saying anyway? <laughs> I, um, so Saturday morning, uh, slept in a little bit, but Sadie got up at seven, so we just watched, um, some TV and, um, uh, my husband made pancakes for breakfast. And we, um, so cute. We watched, um, like I said, a little TV and we cleaned the hamster cage and he needed more bedding. So anyway, while I was cleaning his cage, I had Sadie take him outside and he rolled around in his ball out in the courtyard in the sun and he loved that. And then um, I had to get more bedding for his cage, so we went to um, Petco and got bedding. And I was really happy because I found hamster, dwarf hamster food. 
because he's a dwarf hamster and um, so I was I thought maybe he'd like that better because I had gotten him regular hamster food and I just felt like he didn't really care for it that much some of the pieces seemed to be too big for him so I've been feeding him some hedgehog food um, which he absolutely loves because it has mealworms in it and um, so cute but I thought he needs some you know food that's more for him and that really was perfect so I think he was pretty happy um, got these little Easter eggs I never used these so I might as well now that April is pretty much done I might as well get these little eggy things used up right they're cute I'll just put the whole little pile all over here. <laughs> kind of fun, huh? Okay. And I have a few bunnies left. I'll use those on another page. Oh, and we went to Baker Square um, for a date, a lunch, a supper, dinner date after Sadie left. But anyway, we got the stuff for the hamster and got that all set up and Sadie played outside for a bit and then uh, my daughter and her husband came over and we um, visited and they had brought muffins from Perkins so we had muffins and then after they left I worked on my journaling and my husband went geocaching and then we just watched um, we were watching that Lost in Space on Netflix that series and it finished we had two episodes left, so we just finished watching those. That was nice. Always fun. Looks like I need an owl in here, too. Let me find one. That'll work. Let's see. Look at the colors. And. One. Dropping owls. They're dropping everywhere. <laughs> this one, I think, would be the perfect owl. Let's put him here. And let's just do some words. Uh, here, this one says Saturday. So we'll just put that right there above them. And we had family time. Put that up there. Windows down or up or down or whatever. Open. We'll just go with that. Windows open. Um, happy weekend. Just kind of want to put words in here. And brunch. I like that. Just kind of the weekend. It's a good way to describe the weekend. And let's put this one right here. Let yourself rest. Sometimes it's nice to just do phrases because, you know, there just isn't uh, anything else you can do. And I'm just going to, these little bunnies are going to kind of melt into the space, which is fine. Put this little guy up here. And... Uh, Let's put this little guy up here. I'm just going to use these bunnies up, right? Let's just use them up. There we go. All done. Bunnies are out. Yay. Okay, so that was yeah, that. Was, um, that. So here's today. Um, and I'll have to write in this later. But um, went to church this morning. And we... Um, joined the prayer team, so we went and um, had orientation. Well, I had to be there early because I'm on, I, it was my Sunday for being on the welcome at the welcome desk, and 
welcome center and then we during that service the 945 service we were having orientation for being on the prayer team and then we went and uh, prayed after because the, the service ended when we were done with orientation and we went and prayed up front with people and then um, we decided to stay so we could actually attend a service so we stayed for the 11:15 service so we didn't actually get home until 12 30 actually and then we just made a quick lunch watched an episode of fixer upper and that's it so i am not gonna um do anything more until more happens today because now I'm going to just work in my craft room and do some journaling and um, tonight we're meeting up with some friends we have friends uh, we're meeting up with a bunch of people at a pizza luce restaurant and to when we were lived in Mexico we had uh, mis we were fellow missionaries with some, an Uruguayan couple and our kids were the same age and we're friends so they um the husband and wife are here visiting and so uh they're just getting together with a bunch of us out to eat so we can get to visit with them so i think that's really cool so i will finish this probably tomorrow and then um do that page and then i can do a flip through either tomorrow or i will do it on may 1st whatever you know my time looks like for getting that done I did want to show this really quick, um, page by page, rather quickly. This is my May, June, and I I haven't decided what lettering to use he yet here to do this cover. I mean, it, it's obviously, it's not um, totally done. I mean, I have, I have some letters, so I could... What color is my J? My J is a blue, and my May is a gold, which actually, that might work. Otherwise, I do have a green for the May, like a small green. So maybe, let's just see. Now, I don't like the green, I think. I think we're gonna stick with um, the gold, I think is going to look better. Let's try this. Let's just do an M. Hmm, no, it doesn't want to stick. Come on. It's probably because I need to do it like this and just get it pushed down super good. So, how about M and J? <laughs> Do I have an and? Ampersand. Um, M. I was kind of hoping, eh. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I did, but I don't see one. But, let's do this. M and then J right here. Okay. And what volume is this? Volume 19. Um, do I have any V's? I do. I do have some V's never know what I've got left so let's put let's put that right here volume because I don't think I have anything else that I'm going to be able to use because I have used up so many of the letters, but that's that's fine because this is what I'll do then, is I'll just write 
um, what I need to write in here. So let's take, let's see what we got that will work. Okay, I can go here, so I can go, this is just a really dark blue, June. Okay, and May, I think I can go brown. May, and then here I can go volume. And let's see, I said it was volume 19. There. And this is 2018, so let's take Let's take the gray and let's just go right here. 2018 there. So then it's it's really subtle. I think that's good. I did hadn't done that before, so I'm glad I did. So just a quick look. Um, a lot of coffee stained papers. This is bow bunny paper, and I package taped everything but the cover and sewed on lace and put lace on for the ties. And then I every I have four inserts. Every insert has lace at the front and at the back. And I put stamping. And then I took my um, daily calendar pages and I cut them out, cut them down small. And when I glued them on I just distressed them as you can see and I had to put like a page like I had to put my name somewhere yet I haven't done a um, pocket or something for my information but I have a little book plate thing and so it just starts so I'll just flip through and I'll be journaling in here here's a little plastic envelope some tracing paper coffee stain paper, uh, scrapbook paper, more coffee stained. This is from a Van, uh, Vincent Van Gogh art book and some vintage music paper and a vintage from a book, an old book, an index. Um, the, the other side of that pocket, um, some scrapbook paper. Here's a little fold out I made from some paper that I coffee stained. Here's another one of those and here's the rest of that book page and the music and the rest of the Van Gogh. This is just a seam binding label that I used for a little journaling pocket. So that comes out and you can just journal on that. Or I guess I can just journal on that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that's kind of how the whole book is. Um, I think I got a doily in here somewhere. Here I made with a little piece, a, a little tuck spot with scrapbook paper and dotted vellum. And this is just from a label, an address label thing. Into the next half of May. There's the doily. I just put this as a little tuck spot. This is from a poetry, a poetry book. This is from a Beatrix Potter book. So you can just see, here's a little tuck, tuck spot. The rest of that doily. This is just colored paper I coffee dyed. Um, this is for a little tuck spot. Now we're June. Another little tuck slide in spot. This is from a sewing pattern that I coffee stained. 
This is from a coloring book I coffee stained. This is from a music music book. The plastic bag for just putting things in. of the coloring book page and I just made a pocket from these calendar pages and that's the end of that and that was June so I have two books for each month this is the last half of June this is from flow is big book of paper doily and then I sewed across so it becomes a tuck spot. Another little tuck spot. This is from a woman's uh, journal. This is really cute. This must be from some book. Van Gogh. This is still from the Van Gogh book. And this is just from, I don't even know which book this was from. But it's from some swing of the pendulum so some novel this is a vellum paper this is from a cutout of a Mary Inglebright's home companion book the vellum another of that book from that book I read I, at this time I tucked the calendar page in the plastic another little pocket Here's the rest of that ladies' journal, woman's journal I had, the plastic sleeve again, the doily that's sewn on for a tuck spot, and then the rest of that flow magazine, or flow big book of paper page, and the end. So yeah, I, this is going to be so much fun to use. I'm super excited about it, and... It'll be fun working in that for two months, and I think I nef left left enough room for it to like get fat without any trouble. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.